You said something about perhaps the, the rain washing yes. this pollen away. So a little rain can do good things. Yeah. The wind kind of dries things out and mixes the air so the pollen gets spread around. Yeah. The rain actually cleanses it right, and right. takes it back uh -huh. down to the ground. So the question would be now, can we get that pollen <laughs> out of the air? It's a nice cleanse. Mother Nature's cleanse. A different one. <laughs> there you go. Temperatures back at toward 50 degrees as we head past the midnight hour. We will be staying dry for right now, but notice that there will be more and more cloud cover coming in. Look at the wind direction. It's out of the west northwest and that is keeping areas along the lakeshore cooler. We're only in the 50s here, but farther south temperatures have soared well into the 60s today. Another beautiful day. Wall to wall sunshine shine just fantastic but of course that won't last long this time of the year we have clouds and yes scattered shower chances that are going to start to infiltrate the forecast as we head through the next 24 hours all of this is in advance uh, and along with a cold front that's kind of weak but it's going to pack a bit of a punch let's explain 10 p.m. temps right around 50 degrees we are still dry we'll have some scattered shower chances lingering into the early part of the morning look at those temperatures though upper 30s as you start the day winds will be out of the north it's that wind direction change that is the signal that a cold front has passed through. We will stay with a northerly breeze in the afternoon and look at the difference in the temperatures. 30s ouch along the lakeshore with 40s farther south. We won't be making it into the 50s in much of the area. Our great hope is still tropical Dover, New Philadelphia, New Town, over to Millersburg. You folks may tap 50 degrees, but the rest of us will be stuck in the 40s. Clouds spread across the area and <clears throat> look <clears throat> what's on the... <clears throat> Map. Oh, whoa, what is going on here? This is a little bit of a frontal boundary that's going to pass through. This is a warm front, though. It's going to help us out later. But you can see, yeah, we do have a little chance for some passing flurries, and then they're out of here. So by Thursday morning, we will start a drying trend that will kick us into the high gear for Thursday afternoon. Great rebound of a day. After that pre-dawn chance of snow that you won't even see, you won't even know about, things are really going to turn on us, and it's going to get nice. Here is why. We have a big frontal boundary out to the west of us that will pass through on Friday. So we will bring rain chances in, maybe some thunderstorms earlier in the day on Friday, then that clears out. And just about the time you think we are free and clear for the weekend, Stand by because there is a storm system a brewing in the deep south. We will stay dry on Saturday, but Sunday rain comes in and it looks like it could be persistent. So if you have outdoor plans on Sunday, be advised of that. Upper 40s tomorrow, but look at the switch as we get into the day on Thursday in your Universal Windows Direct forecast. We'll hold those upper 60s for Friday with rain and thunderstorm chances, then dry out. And then there's that Sunday rain chance coming in with a pair of upper 50s this weekend. All right, springtime. Thanks, Betsy. Mm -hmm.